Hey everyone, Carl here with Literal Lessons bringing you a deep dive featuring Toxicroak today. Uh, Toxicroak is one of these more unique Pokemon we're starting to see pop up in Series 10 as Xerneas continues to rise in dominance and things like Calyrex, Shadow, and Kyogre start to gain a foothold in the format. Uh, before we get started on Toxicroak though, uh, remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, do all the fun YouTube stuff, helps us out a ton, and comment down below who you want to see me cover next week. Uh, so Toxicroak. Toxicroak is... A real cool Pokemon in the fact that it has really unique like moves. It's kind of this trickster fighting type, which we see a little bit of when we think of like Mind Shao and Hitmontop, with things like Fake Out and other cool tools like that. Um, but Toxicroak has a little bit more going for it, just because it happens to also be a Poison type and can hit Xerneas super effectively. Uh, and when you pair that with its ability Dry Skin, Toxicroak happens to check it decent chunk of the popular uh, popular restricteds right now um, you just get to eat water spouts all day like from Kyogre you have sucker punch for Calyrex shadow obviously you have poison jab for Xerneas and fake out and all these other cool tools so toxic is kind of this cool support Pokemon I would call it when we go and look into the actual history of Toxicroak, though, for throughout the Sword and Shield beta, there's not a lot there. Uh, even though it's been in the game, in the base game, since the start of the VGC and all that, we hardly see it. Um, part of that is partially due to just there's better fake out users sometimes, things like more better abilities. Uh, Hitmontop uh, is the big one that comes to mind for series like early series two and three. Uh, as it's just like the best fake out user before Incineroar came along because you just had access to Intimidate and fake out all on the same Pokemon. Uh, and then here lately is Mineshell's kind of become the same, that, that same kind of role. It's just like very fast fake out, answers Incineroar really well. Um, but Toxicroak kind of answers and does a little bit of a different thing than those two and um, actually punishes Xerneas and Calyrex Shadow more than probably the other two do. And we'll kind of get into that here in a minute. But looking at common partners for Toxicroak, uh, Toxicroak is definitely a very supportive Pokemon, so the partners are very widespread. Uh, the most common ones tend to be the Pokemon that you see the most, usually like Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Regilecki. Uh, if you're looking at common Restricteds though, uh, Calyrex Shadow is the big one that I see a lot of Toxicroaks on, mainly because Calyrex Shadow uh, has a problem against opposing Calyrex Shadow, which Toxicroak answers, and doesn't quite line up to best against opposing Xerneas, uh, so having an extra little bit of help against Xerneas with Fake Out and Poison Jab can just give you that little bit of an edge to where your Calyrex Shadow can pick up uh, KOs against it. Um, and to a lesser extent, uh, other, a lot of these Dragon Restricted, like Toxicroak 2, especially Palkia. Um, one of the big downsides of Palkia is a lot of your moves are not 100% accurate. So you can run things like Surf Palkia and Dry Skin activates and heals your Toxicroak while also dealing a ton of damage to your opponents. So just small things and little synergies like that to think about when you're building your team. Looking at the metagame, break, metagame breakdown for Toxicroak, we see that there's a lot of different moves here. Um, fake Out, Poison Jab, Low Kick, Sucker Punch, Encore, Taunt, Bullet Punch. There's probably 15 moves right there. The big ones you need to know about are Fake Out, Poison Jab and Sucker Punch. Those are the big three. Those are probably going to be the most common moves you see on most Toxicroaks because that's what Toxicroaks there on the team to do. Uh, as for that fourth move slot, um, you also get Coaching, which is something really cool. Not very usable in a lot of teams, but can be good on certain teams. Um, and you're not slow by any means. You're base 85, so you can get a fast coaching off if you run something like a Choice Scarf or our Focus Sash where you're guaranteed to get that first choice, uh, first coaching off. Uh, looking at common items though, we see Assault Vest is the most common and it kind of makes sense. A lot of the times you want to run four damaging moves, four utility moves, and a lot of these moves deal damage. So Assault Vest is kind of just this free roll item that you just get bonus special defense from. Uh, other common items include Focus Sash, Life Orb, Black Sludge, Cobra Berry, uh, and down here we have an Expert Belt, Safety Goggles, Citrus Berry. These are very, very uncommon. I would not expect to see these on any of my Toxicroaks like, come in the foreseeable future. Uh, but definitely just things to be aware of. When you're building with Toxicroak, it has a lot of unique tools. So each Toxicroak is going to be a little bit different or do different things based on your team. Uh, if your team has a fairly good Calyrex Shadow matchup, you don't technically have to run Sucker Punch. Uh, if you have a decent 
if you have two other fake out users, you can bluff a fake out on your Toxic Croak and run Faint or some other utility move like that. Um, Keeping your opponent on their toes and best of one on ladder is going to be huge and help you win a little bit more games that way. Uh, and dry skin's really, really unique. Uh, just because it kind of works like storm drain, but not really. Instead, it's like a weird water absorbs, the best way to put it. Um, when you're hit with a water type move, you get to heal up, and I think you heal up in rain, but you also take damage in the sun. It's, so it's kind of this weird backwards weather-based ability. But this means you can move, use move like Surf alongside your Toxic Croak and heal your Toxic Croak if needed. Uh, this is where Palkia, Palkia comes into play and kind of just gets to be the benefit of that. Looking at move sets for Toxic Croak, Toxic Croak uh, it has such a deep support move pool that it usually has four move slot syndrome, which by definition is you want to play so many different moves you wish you could slot on, slap on a fifth move a lot of the time. Um, I would expect this AV set to probably be the most common set you'll see. Um, this is kind of bulky, kind of fast, not having to outspeed a whole ton because you have plus three priority on fake out, you have sucker punch, and if you can land a drain punch or a poison jab, you're going to be in a real good spot. Uh, same kind of thing for this focus sash set. Um, max attack, max speed, looking to hit as hard as possible, but you also have coaching, so you can do stuff with it, like, stuff like that if your team wants you to do that, or you can swap coaching out for any other utility move like taunt or quick guard or something like that. This last set here is a Black Sludge set. This is kind of in that weird bulky set still. We're max special defense with decent HP investment and decent attack investment. Um, fake out, taunt, poison jab, protect. Just looking to be an annoying Pokemon, which Toxic Croak does a very good job of. When you're looking to beat, a, beat an opposing Toxic Croak, it's not very bulky. Um, any kind of powerful neutral attack will usually deal with the Toxic Croak. You also just have to carry, like, if you happen to carry, like, ground, psychic, flying, um, any, any good coverage into Toxic Croak, it's going to usually be enough to pick it up. Uh, and psychic terrain is usually an issue, uh, because a lot of the Toxic Croak's moves are priority other than, like, poison jab, uh, or the random taunt and whatnot. Uh, so if you have Psychic Terrain and can set it up fairly easily, uh, Toxic Croak kind of becomes useless and it might be what we see happen in the future here with uh, Caloric Shadow uh, as Tapu Lele and Ndidi kind of become the popular pairings for that. Toxic Croak will probably see less play as a Caloric Shadow answer and kind of migrate to being just a strict Xerneas answer. To wrap up on Toxic Croak though, uh, it's a real cool support Pokemon that can offer a little bit of offense as well. We didn't mention this, but it also just has access to things like Cross Chop, which have high crit rate. You can Cross Chop an opposing Incineroar, you're going to deal a decent chunk to it, even with your base whatever attack. Uh, between its unique move pool and its dry skin ability, Toxic Croak answers a lot of the popular restrictions right now. Uh, Kyogre, Caloric, Shadow, Xerneas, all can be fairly de easily dealt with by this uh, Toxic Croak. And you can just add a couple Pokemon, and you can even have your Toxic Croak kind of start to answer opposing Zama, uh, Zacian teams. Uh, and when playing against Toxic Croak, be aware that its higher priority moves are going to give it an advantage over you just because they just move first. So if you don't have a good answer to a Sucker Punch, maybe swap out. Protect your Calyrex Shatter. Protect your Pokemon that's weak to it. Um, if you have issues with fake out, double protect. Never be afraid to just double protect on turn one to stop a fake out. Uh, it can swing the momentum back in your favor and can be a huge boon for you. With that being said, I want to thank you all for hanging out and listening to me ramble about Toxic Croak today. Remember to check us out on Twitter. All of our Twitter links are there on screen right now. Check out the Discord link. The Discord link is always in the description. You can find us there. Uh, community is great. We're growing ever so closer to that goal for partner. Would love to hit that hopefully soon. And also remember to just do all the YouTube stuff, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell, do all that fun stuff, leave a like if you like the video, and with that being said, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, we're out in the world, and we will see you all next week. Bye everyone.